we have a decentralized public infrastructure. But what are we going to use it for? Well, let's start good. Let's start with money. Because it's not only one of the most easiest applications to tackle, but it's also one of the most important applications to tackle. So, because money is deeply rooted in our society, which is a key takeaway, it therefore is also a very important component of other applications. Because if you tackle the money correctly, you can build other applications upon that money layer. Because other applications will most likely use your decentralized form of money. Imagine the world uh, we already discussed of Ready Player One, right? You see that money also plays a very important role within that game. So within the application of the game, you need money to exchange value, to have human communication activity slash value exchange. Right. So of course this was very insightful by the time. Um, by the way, I don't know if I've noticed this already or noted this already, but um, the first money application is called Bitcoin but with a, a small b, so no capital B. If you're talking about Bitcoin with a capital B, we're talking about the ledger slash the consensus protocol, aka the Bitcoin uh, infrastructure. And if you're talking about the very first application being built upon that uh, infrastructure, then we're talking about Bitcoin with a small b. So if you're talking, I'm sending my Bitcoins from person A to B, that's a small b, but I'm sending my Bitcoins on the Bitcoin, network, then you're talking about small b versus a big b, right? Bitcoin network is big b, Bitcoin's uh, value money is small b. Keep that one in mind. So, um, of course, this is not the only reason why the Bitcoin was invented. In the very first block, the Genesis block, you can see a hashed piece of data representing the front page of the London Times of that day. And I think there was stated, uh, we will upload it on the, on the slide. It stated, let me check, uh, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks, right? So this was also a statement towards the current monetary system, which failed again, and in the opinion of Satoshi Nakamoto, will most likely fail once more. And therefore he created an opt-out. In other words, a uh, money with different properties, which you can't alter, which you can't uh, immute, with all the properties we already discussed. So. Is Bitcoin truly money? Is it something else? If you want to know that, you first need to know, of course, what is money. And for that, I will see you in the next session. What is money?